Okay, it's time to produce a speed statement. So you'll now need to go back to your email where you were sent the type quick link. And that takes you through to the type quick page where you have to place in your username and password. That would have been supplied to you in the email. And it is case sensitive. Hit submit to log in. Then you'll go to the top left hand corner to skill evaluator. Left click on your mouse for that. Now it has an option for a main test and it also had an option for a practice test. Now it seems that because I was working in the practice test that's no longer available to me now. So I'll take the main test. You have to remember to follow those instructions though. Now it only lets you do this once. Again we have the guide. So you need to review this text here in the test text. So review the text below, then click the mouse into the bottom window. That's where I say to place your cursor. So you put your cursor into the bottom window here under the test typing area and left click. See how it brings your cursor down? So review the text below, then click the mouse in the bottom window and start typing. So that's what we've done here. Use either a space or an enter. You know that space key, the long key or the enter key. We've had some practice with that at the end of each line. So when we get to the end of this line here, to do's, we would actually then hit the enter key. Okay? As you finish a line, the test text will scroll up one line. So you'll lose sight of this first line and you'll actually see this at the top. That's just a handy little way to guide you. The current line should always be the top line. So it's, it's just to help, help guide you. So you watch how we go. And the test is for two minutes and it'll stop when the timer bar reaches the end of its area. So we can see this time remaining. This is the timer bar up here. So here we are. I've reviewed the text. Now I'm just making sure of everything. I'm going to actually read it out loud and look at it all before I start. So this means that we've got some inverted commas which would need me to hit the shift key and the, um, in, you know, the uh, double uh, dialogue um, apostrophes there. Okay, so um, I'd need to know and plan where that's going. Then I'm going to need to hit the shift and the A to get the capital A. I'm going to need to make sure I can hit my space bar through all of these. So are some of my most meaningful comma, I'm going to make sure I know where my comma is, top priority space two. Now look, there's a little hyphen in here. So I need to make sure that I can find my hyphen, which is after the numeral zero. Okay, so we're not going to hit the shift, we're just going to hit it straight um, to do. And then now there's an apostrophe S. So on that same key that had your, um, you know, your, your double apostrophe there, you would actually, you, you can actually see the single one, so you wouldn't hit the shift key there. All right, so look, I might just see if there's a way I can go out into a Word document and practice that. I'm going to hit my Windows key and a new Word document. It doesn't have to be the same words. I'm going to create a new one there. Create a blank one. All right, just practicing a few things. Shift and then here we are. See how it automatically corrected the word practicing for me? You won't get that in the, in the actual speed test. You'll have to look over and be accurate yourself. Now it had a comma, space, and now we're going to put two, space, and then the hyphen. Yep, we're checking that that's working correctly. Apostrophe S, and then I'm just going to close those. Excellent. So I know how all of my keys work. I'll get out of there because the minute I start, start typing, it's going to start chewing up the two minutes. All right, so I know all of my hyphens and things work. I know that I'm going to need a question mark. So, you know, I have to make sure every space is right here, everything exactly how it is. So, here we go. B, 
speak out loud anything that helps you. There's no space between to do. Now, enter key. Enter key. It doesn't have to make sense. It's not meant to make sense. Just type it exactly. Shift, question mark, and close those. Space, capital S. Enter. Feels like it's taking forever. Now let's see what sort of, oh, there we are, 97.21% accuracy. So it does need to be, oh, I thought it needed to be over 98% accuracy. Okay, so my speed is 35.9 words per minute. And then I would click on certificate. And you can see that it's downloaded a PDF, so I'll click on there. All right, so that's how you will achieve your certificate. I think we'll really have to do it till it goes to 98%, but look, that's fairly close. We need an accuracy, I think, of 98%. All right. So what we would do with that now that you have that, we just need evidence of that. So you can um, either do a print screen. So get that in your full screen there. Make sure your name's showing and, and this type of information and the date. And then hit the function bar and print screen. So that will actually save a copy of it. Then hit your windows. Come back into your... module and just where it says step six insert speed statement just hit control v and you'll you'll see that that comes up there okay there might be a way i really need for you to save a copy of this for yourself so let's just go back right click save as and we'll just put it on the desktop and hit save. Okay, so you'll have a version that you can print out for yourself if you want to put it into your CV or, you know, into your resume there. Plus, we need that copy as well for your module so you can actually get your qualifications.